hello welcome back um so i guess this is officially my first sit down chat and um i don't know something's been weighing on me that to kind of share and talk about because i feel like a lot of people can really relate to it um so for those of you who, who don't know i am a nurse and i've been a nurse for two years and i know that this is not long and i'm still a baby nurse and i'm still learning every single day um i used to work on the floor um as a, in, on a cardiac unit i think i've said that before now i work in a clinic i definitely got out of the major front lines of covid i still see it but i don't do near you know what the nurses in the hospital are doing right now um however that is not even um an excuse for what i'm about to talk about I have noticed within the last two years, um, well, the last year of my two years, which has mainly been COVID, that anxiety has been like through the roof. And I don't know if it's because I'm just more aware of it. I don't know. Um, but something that I've noticed is that everybody, and I, I'm like, I would like to put a number on it. I would say 85% of my patients that I see complain of anxiety and that they struggle with that and that's something that they fear you know dealing with on the day-to-day -day basis and it's causing them problems with their heart and their health and it's just so frustrating to see from the outside and several things I think contribute one being COVID not knowing what's happening um you know losing loved ones due to COVID there's so many things but another thing is all of the p politics, and I don't want to get into, you know, my beliefs and this and that. Basically, what I'm getting at is anxiety is extremely prevalent. And one thing that I have found, as I definitely experience anxiety of my own, is, and I know, if you don't want to watch this, you can turn it off now because I'm going to talk about God. But my only way to get through the anxiety has been... I have truly learned to not only pray, but reading my Bible has brought me peace beyond belief. And I'm brand new to all this. I mean, I have been a Christian my whole life. However, I definitely am very brand new to reading my Bible. Um, I think probably a lot of you can relate. It felt like growing up. I don't know, you'd open the Bible and read a passage and it was like, okay, that brought me peace. But reading a whole chapter almost felt like homework. Like it wasn't really something you wanted to do because it didn't make sense. You didn't really understand it. There was, I mean, many different reasons. However, um, I have, I've said however seven times and I apologize. I am now working on reading and I'm in um, Numbers, which is still in the Old Testament, but I am loving every second of it. And I think it's because I have had to find something to bring me peace through all of the craziness of 2020 now into 2021. Um, but I just had a couple notes that I wanted to share with y'all that I kind of weighed on my mind and I wrote down one night. Um, you know, and this is such a, I feel like a lot of people talk about this, but it's so true. Um, you know, we refresh, we, we get, we get really sucked up into, um, our worries and we don't really deal all we do is sit and refresh on Facebook, sit and refresh on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, you know, distracting ourselves from what is and is we're more just focusing on a screen. And I know it's cliche, but like if we were to sit our set our phone down, set our laptop aside, whatever it is, and literally refresh our mind and listen for an answer from God, I mean, I just feel like you would be able to make clear decisions, be able to sleep better at night go about your day in a better mood. Um, I think a lot of us are very closed off to, um, you know, not only l reaching out for God's answer, but listening when he wants to tell us something. And one thing, I mean, this is so obvious, but that occurred to me recently, obviously the Bible is God's word, but I've never thought about it being God's literal, like, here I'm talking to you. So, I don't know, recently that occurred to me as I was reading my Bible. I, you know, as I'm reading and turning pages and it says, the Lord said, I'm like, this is, this is how he's reaching to me. This is how he's speaking to me. 
So I don't know. I just encourage everyone as, you know, the days are hard and, and there's a lot of negativity between social media and the news and, and the people you're with. I mean, I would hope you're surrounding yourself with positivity, but between friends, family, coworkers, there's bound to be someone speaking negative, you know, things about whatever's going on. And so I hope that you're able to find a way to, you know, kind of look further than just what's being said, um, you know, in our world. Um, I think it's really important to start focusing on what he says. Basically what I wanted to put out there into the world on the topic, topic of anxiety is that it's going to be there. And I think, you know, that's, it's a very real thing. Um, and we're, a lot of us are going to have to deal with it for the entirety of our lives. But if we can work on finding a really healthy and positive way of dealing and not uh, just avoiding, that is the most important thing. Um, you know, I think God, <laughs> I think he allows us to have anxiety so we will reach to him more. Um, I don't think he gives it to us to punish us or, you know, make us angry, even though it does sometimes. I think he really does put anxiety there for us to be like, okay, God, you are the end all be all, you know, what can I do to heal? And what can I do to be better? That even though anxiety is real and anxiety is frustrating and there's going to continue to be negative things that happen on the day-to-day -day basis, um, there is one way we can feel peace and that is by reaching out to God whether that be by praying by just thinking writing reading your bible I just would hope that you know I don't know challenge yourself this week that as you start feeling anxious about whatever it is going on in your life that you would maybe just open up your bible or maybe just pray an extra prayer or start praying for the first time so if you even slightly liked what you heard here today I would encourage you to like, comment, and subscribe because I really do hope to post more like this. Um, I do enjoy putting my thoughts out there and I would hope that maybe they'd encourage at least one person um, who's having a hard time. So uh, just know that I want to put all my good vibes and thoughts and prayers out for everybody and I hope you have a wonderful week. Peace out.